He was welcomed to their new home with open arms. News Force Caitlin Ogle on the story. Katie. First Afghan refugee families have arrived here in Oklahoma after fleeing the Taliban regime. Oklahoma set to receive among the highest numbers of refugees in the country. Of course, that video from Afghanistan. Today's family was welcomed to their new home with open arms. News Force Caitlin Ogle on the story. Katie. Catholic Charities of the Archdiocese of OKC and the Oklahoma Chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations are partnering to make sure these families are all settled in. CARE says it's been flooded with donations, but could still use a little more help. So we are meeting a historic need. This is a momentous uh, thing project that we are working on. Here. An Afghan family now in the state, escaping Taliban territory after U.S. troops pulled out of the country last month. In all, 1,800 expected over the next few weeks or months. We're excited to open up our arms and uh, we've vetted all the folks and, uh, and we're excited to welcome them. I think that we're more than prepared to meet that challenge. The Council for American Islamic Relations and Catholic Charities of the Archdiocese of OKC teaming up, keeping the family's identities protected, making sure they're safe, unable to even tell News 4 where they're staying. Well, these are families that might be um, wanted by people like the Taliban. We've already had them leaving a really dangerous and volatile situation. The last thing that we want to do is bring them here to put them in more danger. Catholic Charities focusing on resettlement care handling everything else because every dollar that these families don't have to spend on essentials is a dollar that they can put towards their long-term futures all day veronica leisure with care and volunteers organizing food and essentials making sure that they have a copy of the holy quran a prayer rug prayer beads so they know their faith will be respected and this is just one third of the hall much of it coming from Oklahoma organizations. The Equity Brewing Company and the Library OKC, a clothing, the clothing, clothing rental company, hold up in front of our office with a literal moving truck full of clothing and donated goods. And like, when I tell you that my mind was blown. <laughs> Care, now looking for specifics. We happen to be in particular needing uh, pants and trousers for men that aren't like athletic wear, long sleeve and kind of nicer blouses and tops for women. Also needing pro bono attorneys, medical workers, teachers, and a large warehouse for all of these goods. I see this as just another example of the fact that Oklahomans really do know how to take care of each other. And CARE says they are constantly looking for more volunteers. So if you're interested, you can find more information on their social media. Leisure said CARE plans to roll out a winter drive soon, since many of the families coming in may not be used to Oklahoma weather. All right, Katie, thank you. But on the other side of this corn, Oklahoma U.S. Senator James Langford joining four other lawmakers who sent a letter to the White House complaining some Afghan refugees coming into the country have not been vetted properly. Senator Langford claims the Biden administration has been unwilling to answer basic questions about the process.